Hello, Journey family. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. We would love to have you be a part of the Coil Journey family. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the rest of this video. As you can tell from the title of this video, I'm gonna just bring you guys some tips that I highly recommend while you guys are on vacation and getting in the pool with locks. Yes, it is the summertime and you should be going on vacation. This is the time to go right now while it's warm outside and you can just take some time to relax um, and, and recover so that you can come back to work refreshed. That's basically what I did. The last three weeks have been really, really busy for me. Um, I really wasn't on YouTube or Instagram too much just because I needed to get a lot of things done before going on vacation. But I was like, oh, this would be a great video because when I was on vacation, I got in the pool. And so I just wanna share with you guys some of the tips and the things that I used practically to keep my hair um, in good condition when I got back from vacation. As you can see, my hair is looking pretty good. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. She looking real cute. So um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get straight into this video. Okay. So I have three different tips that I wanna give you guys. And I'm also gonna show you guys what I put in my suitcase and packed for my vacation to make sure that I put those tips in application and in practice. So tip number one, don't let your hair or your locks hinder you from having fun on vacation. If you wanna get into the pool and you wanna put your head all the way down at the bottom of the pool, do it. If you wanna go on the beach and get in the water, do it. Have fun, you're on vacation. You have to be able to still have fun. Do not let your hair hinder you having fun and, partic and participating in different um, activities on vacation. I think the good thing about having locks is that it's almost like a protective style. And there's a plus to it locks always look good even though they may not be freshly retwisted or maybe they are freshly retwisted they still look good so that's the main thing i want to get across to you guys don't feel like you have to keep your head above the water on vacation if you want to go and have fun go parasailing scuba diving jump in the beach um uh, jump in the water go in the pool do it have fun now if you have starter locks Getting into the pool water or the, the ocean water may look a little different from you than somebody who has more mature locks. So you may wanna be a little bit more responsible and bring a swimming cap. Or if you don't wanna bring a swimming cap, because we all know we try to look cute on vacation, you may be taking the risk of your locks unraveling, which is fine because when you get back, you can just get your hair retwisted and it'll be fine. However, you just gotta understand there is a risk of your hair unraveling depending on how early you are in your starter lock phase versus somebody with more mature locks and who have gone through the starter lock phase and don't have to experience the unraveling. But it's all good, it's all good, no worries. Tip number two, if you're gonna have fun and do those things and put your hair in the water, make sure that you're gonna be responsible enough to have aftercare for your hair once you are done having fun. One of the biggest things that I did after having fun in the pool was making sure that I had a regimen, a hair regimen on the road. So one, I made sure I shampooed my hair really, really well to get all of the chlorine out. Also, you wanna condition your hair. I know some people don't like to condition their hair with locks, but I will highly recommend that whether you do it normally or not, make sure you condition your hair because when you're getting into a pool uh, with chlorine or in an ocean with seawater um, and it has salt in it, that salt is pulling all of those natural oils out. So you wanna make sure you're putting moisture back into your hair after you've gotten out of the pool or out of the the ocean, parasailing or whatever you, you, know, you, you do on vacation. So make sure you shampoo, make sure you condition, and then also make sure you add an oil to your hair to help seal in that moisture that you have put back in. Um, and you know, some people may ask, okay, well, what do you do for styling purposes after getting out of the pool and doing your aftercare regimen? Um, some of the things that I highly recommend is doing a braid out or a twist out. You know, those are always good styles for when you have damp hair and you still want your hair to be cute, but you don't really want to do a retwist because who's going to sit up there and do a full retwist on vacation? Not me. <laughs> so um, I definitely um, highly recommend braid outs or twist outs because one, it'll still give you a nice style for the next day to continue on with your festivities or activities that you have planned for your vacation and it'll still look nice. Give you a little bit of curl, still be nice. Um, and you can carry on with the rest of your vacation activities. Another thing that you can do is still leave your hair or your locks straight, but just make sure that you either air dry outside. Most people like to sit outside poolside anyway. So get your hair a little bit of sun and allow it to dry naturally. You just don't want it to be sitting wet on top of each other because that can cause mold in your locks. So if you don't want to air dry and go out in the sun, 
most times hotels or resorts have blow dryers for you that you can use for your hair. So, you know, you're not putting heat on your hair every single day. So if you just need to blow dry your hair temporarily for that day, you can do that as well. So I highly recommend doing any one of those things after you've shampooed, conditioned, and, and oiled your hair to, to keep it intact for moving forward for your rest of your vacation. The last tip I recommend is that when you're planning your vacation and what styles you're gonna use and you know how you're gonna wear your locks, try to find something super easy and simple. It's really gonna help in that aftercare process because if you can't have anybody or you don't have anybody to help you take down your locks or it's hard for you to take down your locks, when you're trying to do your aftercare, it's gonna make it a lot more difficult. So just to keep it super easy, just try to get a super easy hairstyle that you can easily take down to do your aftercare. So now that we gotten all of the tips out the way, I wanna show you guys what I packed in my carry-on that was super small, not bulky, and was easily able to get through when I was going on vacation to help put those tips into application. The first thing I wanted to bring was shampoo and conditioning packets. Now they didn't have, I couldn't find any from Design Essentials, so I just brought a substitute shampoo and conditioner that I still like to use um, when I don't have access to Design Essentials. So when you go and find yours, you can find these from the beauty supply store. Sometimes they hand these out for free. So make sure you get the shampoo and conditioner packets. They're about 0.5 fluid ounces, so they're able to go on your travel on when you're going through the airport and they won't throw them away because they're less than the maximum allowable um, amount of ounces that you can bring on the plane in your carry-on. So um, make sure that you bring a shampoo and a conditioner. I brought about three packs of shampoo um, and conditioner. I would probably suggest about four if your hair is, you know, the same you know, length is mine. It just depends on how long your hair is. Um, but about three packs was fine. I probably could have, you know, brought an extra pack and it would have been helpful. But these are super easy. And once you're done, you just throw them away. You don't have to keep them. It's not a container that you have to keep up with or hope that it doesn't bust in your um, carry-on. So just get these little shampoo and conditioning packets that you can easily use and throw away after. The next thing that you wanna bring is an oil. It is very important because you're putting moisture back into your locks. So make sure that you bring an oil. This oil was about two fluid ounces. I think the max is like three or four. I would check because I don't really, really remember, but I know I was able to get it on my carry-on without it being thrown away. So this was very helpful. Make sure you bring an oil. Also, you wanna bring a towel specifically for your locks. This is actually a microfiber towel, and I'm not sponsored by these people, so I'm not gonna say their names, but this is a microfiber towel, and it helps um, reduce frizz and get rid of a lot of the water in your locks without causing any breakage or damage. Um, I also brought just a little Frankie Dank t-shirt that I don't you know, wear outside, and I just use it specifically for my hair, just to help get a lot of that water out of your locks after you've washed and conditioned from being in the pool. And then lastly, what you wanna bring is some scrunchies. I got some small scrunchies that I got from like the dollar store, and then also a big scrunchie. Um, it's a little worn out as you can see, but these are very helpful because one, if you wanna pull your hair up and not get your hair all the way down in that water, you can pull it up in a bun, a high bun, or after styling, this will be really helpful as well. If you wanna get that hair off your neck. So it's very, you know, essential to bring some scrunchies and just have some versatility in your styling while you're on vacation. All right, guys, so I hope all of this information was helpful and will help you prepare for your vacation with locks and traveling with locks. As always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I hope to see you guys next time.